Next question is from <laughs> Miller's Time. Some people claim calories in versus calories out is what determines fat gain, while others say if you eat healthy whole foods, no matter how much you eat, you will not gain fat. What is your take on this? Well, that last part's not true. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. Okay, number one, you can't get around this. This is a a law of physics. Okay, if you are burning, you know, so much energy, if you're burning two thousand cal. By the way, calories are just a unit uh, that we use to measure energy. Okay, so if you're burning two thousand calories and you're eating three thousand calories. The extra thousand calories doesn't just evaporate uh, into thin air. Um, it gets converted and stored uh, as body fat or maybe converted into muscle or whatever. But energy does not get created uh, and it does not get destroyed. It just gets transferred. This is a law of physics and thermodynamics. So that's number one, okay? But here's number two. Losing weight and gaining weight or, or just losing fat doesn't guarantee that you're going to get healthier either. There's a lot of people that lose weight. There's actually, in fact, people who are underweight oftentimes have worse health than people who are slightly overweight. So there's also the health component, okay? So you have to consider calories if you want to burn uh, body fat. That's a must. You are not going to get around that. I don't care how healthy your diet is. If you eat too many calories, you'll gain body fat. That's just the bottom line. But we also have to understand this. Calories are important, so is what makes up those calories in terms of your of your total health, okay? Now, you can get away with more when your calories are low, but it still makes a big difference. So you got to look at your calories. You got to look at your macronutrients, especially the essential ones like proteins and fats. You got to hit the essential uh, numbers on those, otherwise your body can't function. And then what makes up your diet determines how you feel. It determines um, you know, your appetite. It'll mm. determine uh, other issues or, or factors that determine your overall health. In fact, uh, studies will show that people who eat a whole food Mediterranean style diet that are slightly overweight will have better health than people who eat a lower calorie diet that's made up of foods that tend to be heavily processed. So health is is another another factor. So it's not just about weight loss or weight gain. It's also health. So both important. But the last part of that question is false. Uh, you, you'll gain weight if you eat too many calories, regardless of how healthy or unhealthy the yeah, food you is. You can't avoid that part of it. No. And, and I think, uh, yeah, the message of health is a big one because, and that's why you, you see that a lot in uh, these influencers that really, you know, are, are definitely steering people towards whole foods. I think, you know, they, they may be doing it in, in an, uh, you know, in a way that's not really that um, wrapped in, in truth. So a lot of times it's, you know, you can eat all this healthy food. You're not going to gain any fat. Uh, that's not true either. Uh, it, it really is like you, you don't want to be fighting yourself internally, uh, you know, while you're trying to make progress. So whatever you're eating needs to benefit you from within and, and keep everything healthy and working optimally. But also calories are are the consideration. If I'm, I'm above calories in a surplus, you know, I am going to gain weight. Well, the, the, the part of the statement that makes it false is that no matter how much you eat, right? right? Like the, if you're right. I mean, if you ate ribeye steaks and bananas, Every day till till you hit six thousand calories. Weird, weird combination. I know. I don't know. I just I just thought about their high calorie. I thought high calorie and easy to eat. Right. You I probably, did. Yeah. I feel that's like a steak and steak and banana diet. That's yeah. a that's a that's a bestseller yeah. for uh, a yeah. yeah. I just think it high calorie, Popular, high calorie. And you can, I mean, if I was, I mean, if I was like on a mission to eat whole foods and get to a ton of calories, that's what came to mind: fruit and steak. Right. That's what just how I was thinking. <laughs> so my point though Ooh, is that you absolutely can get fat just eating whole foods if you really tried. Now. Where this comes from, I think, and and where hopefully the, whoever said this or was alluding to this, is that it's a really hard thing to do, and I, that I'll get behind, right? So I, I I've tried I've done this with many clients and said, listen, okay, I'm not going to tell you how many calories you can or can't eat. Right. Mm -hmm. All I want you to do is eat whole, and if you're hungry, eat, but you have to eat from these these food groups, these choices. Yes. Okay? The and majority I, of people can't overeat those. Right. Foods. Exactly. Can't. And and the most and the only ones that have ever came back and failed this test, and they look back at me, I put on five pounds, Adam. What the fuck? And then I go, okay, let's talk about. Did you stick to that? Ninety percent of the time, all that. Wait a second. Ninety percent of the time, what about the other ten percent? Well, yeah. there was a few times where I had this or I had that. I said, okay, so you got full off the whole foods, and then you hijacked your palate and your and your body's natural signals that tell you that you're full, and then you went and had some processed shit. You become hungry again, right? Yeah. Exactly. So there's where you messed up. If you really truly stick to just whole foods, it really is hard for most people 
to overconsume consistently. Maybe one day they ate a little bit more. Maybe they had a great training session the day before, and so that ramped up their metabolism and their body wanted more food, and so they ate a little bit extra. But I tell you what, they probably needed it on that day. Consistently, if you eat only whole foods, it is really hard for most yeah. people to do that. And I want to add a little bit to that because uh, I've actually had uh, talked to people about this where they'll say, well, it, it is whole foods. And I'm like, it's a pie. And they're like, but I baked it myself. Like, okay, well, that, kind of, <laughs> that doesn't count either. So when we say whole foods, we're talking about foods that are not processed, but we're also referring to foods with like a few ingredients, right? Because yeah. I could take- Nutrients in it. Yeah, because I could take whole food ingredients. I remember one time I trained a good friend of mine, Spiro. I love you, Spiro. I was training him and he just he was just a smart ass. And I remember he came in one morning and we were working on his diet. And I'm like, what'd you have for breakfast? He goes, oh, you know, Sal, Greek guy, love him. He goes, Sal, I had a, it was good breakfast. He goes, it was good. Egg, goes, I, had, I had a little bit of eggs. Yeah, I know what he did. I had a little bit of milk. I've had a client. And I'm this. listening to him like, okay. You had fucking cake, yeah. bro. I'm like, eggs and milk. I'm like, he goes, you know, I had a little bit of flour. And I'm like, flour? Who the hell eats a little flour? And I'm like, wait a minute, you made cake? You had cake for breakfast? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't count. I've had a client do the same and, thing yeah. before. And he goes, what's the difference? Every ingredient is a whole one. Like, no, that's that's a little that's a little different. But no, it's true. If And this is where we get some of the confusion because somebody will say, but that's not true. I ate as much as I wanted, and they were all healthy foods, and I lost weight. Well, you you don't you tend to not overeat. Studies show that people who eat heavily processed foods overconsume by five hundred to six hundred calories. That's not a little bit. That's a lot. That's a big difference. Here's the other thing that you want to also consider. Remember, it's a it's a energy balance thing. So it's too many calories versus how many calories you burn. So I've also had people tell me, well, that's not true. I increased my calories, but I didn't gain any body fat. And I look at their workout program. Oh, you built muscle. Oh, your metabolism sped, sped up. So here's the bottom line. If you gain weight, it's because you ate more calories than you burned. If you lost weight, it means you ate less calories than you burned. But there's two sides of that equation. I could either burn more or I could eat more or I could burn less and I could eat less. It's the balance between the two that will determine the weight. But what, what makes up your diet has a huge impact on your overall health. And yes, you can be overweight and be healthier than somebody who's underweight, uh, even though they have less body fat than you because their diet is made up of foods that are not uh, as healthy.